Hello everyone, uh, so this is a video about uh, charging my uh, BMW i3 on three different uh, charger that has different amperages. So this one is the one that came with the vehicle and 12 amp uh, or 120 volt uh, charger and level one charger and it plugs right into the, your regular out, little outlet that you would do anything, any other, you know, any other appliances in your small appliances in your in your in your home. And next next up is the um, split volt. This is 24 amp, and 24 amp is much faster than and as we're gonna we're going to see. And this last one is uh, or, or already plugged in, so this is the mustard, or some people say mustard, some people say mustard. So, and this both of these uh, uh, split bolt and the mustard, they all both plug into my dryer outlet. This is a thirty amp outlet. So, um, for this one, I'm for mustard. I'm using a con converter adapter well, uh, because uh, mustard has a 1450 adapter, and this one is 1030 adapter. And a split volt, it just has a 1030 uh, availability. So we're gonna start. So we're going to start with the BMW 12 volts or 120 volt or 12 amp uh, we're gonna start with that one first so when this blue light comes on um, we'll see it's gonna it, it, that means it's charging and before let me plug it out uh, so this is J1772 and this one uh, some vehicle don't have this part and this is the combo version so if I go to like place like Electrify America uh, charging station, I can plug whole combo thing and this will, it will, even my vehicle is empty, it will charge it about an hour and a half and 52 hours because this car vehicle is like 60, uh, 60 amp uh, or like 60 something battery on the bottom. So we're going to plug it, plug the back, plug it back in. So as you see, when, when I plug that in, right now it's 2.10 um, p.m. And on Sunday, uh, on o October 31st. And this car is going to keep charging almost more than half of the battery, less than half of the battery is empty, and which is about, see, maximum is 83 and 47 is things. But uh, that's not really the case, like, um, because if I change the settings, see, as you see, it's jumped to 94. It, it up, it, it's up to the which m mode you're, jump, you're working on. So, but still is half, more than, uh, less than half of the battery is uh, good to go to charging. So, um... So as we see, and this is the charging time. I don't know why it changed, so I'm gonna turn that on. So, um, so 1:41 a.m. It's gonna uh, charge about 12 hours. About um, you know that much of battery left, and we can go on this screen. We can reduce. We can put it in the reduced, and as you see. It changes the amperage which was 12 amp and now it's delivering maybe 8 amp only and that increases the time another four or five hours with the you know level one charger and as you see it's like it just kind of explains to you level one is 120 watt and level two is two or 280 240 volts and so that's what the BMW thing is about takes 12 to 15 hours to charge them uh, about a half of the battery. So currently everything is off. 
So we still have 3 a.m. Right now is 2, a, 2 p.m. So we're looking at the 13 hours to charge the entire like entire battery to the full from more than a half already. Now I'm going to disconnect this one and next up is the uh, split volt and this is remember 24 amp. So this is delivering 24 amp right now and um, so we're going to go back. So we're at the back at, back at the screen and screen if you look at it is 253 453 and 453 and right now it's um, 214 so about two hour two hours and 40 minutes to charge the whole thing so 12 uh, level 1 to level 2 it's not divided by 2 so level 1 to level 2 you would expi expect it but like you know at least maybe you will say like oh it's gonna be seven eight hours but that's not that's not the case so when it comes to amperage it's it it's, it doesn't like I guess it doesn't have a straight uh, you know divide by half so uh, so I'm gonna go back to this screen and right now we're in the max and if you have a lot of time you should I, I would I suggest put it reduced because that trickles and then slowly charges the battery and kind of like helps the battery's health and it only adds about an hour so if you don't have any place to go, or you just at Sunday afternoon, you're at home and you're not planning to go anywhere. And if you, even you do on a Sunday afternoon, you're not going to go um, uh, across the state, uh, you know, um, even the across the city, you know, trip. So um, uh, when it comes to charging at home is reduced, I think it, it will be the best. Uh, and it just adds another hour. Still, that is much better than the level 1 charger, I believe. Instead of waiting 13, 14 hours, in 13 or 14 hours, I have to go to work. So, if you keep charging and keep charging at home, at some point, you're going to fall short. And you have to, you're going to have to take Uber to work or somebody is going to pick you up. So, if your vehicle comes with the level 1 charger, the best deal is to go, go and pay some money and get level 2 and okay now we're at the mustard i'm gonna plug the mustard in a start and it's on so first thing i want to go to the screen when i go to the screen as you see um we're at the reduced so uh, car has reduced option so in the reduced option it goes to 16 amp so car is charging at 16 amp right now so uh, I'm gonna go back and make it maximum and come back here. So in 16 amp, like reduced, in reduced charge, the 24 amp split volt and 40 amp uh, must start. They have a similar charge time because they, uh, when you come here and choose reduced, uh, it drops the. Uh, you know, it lets the it lets about 16 amperage uh, to to be delivered to vehicle, and if we increase that to maximum, see as you see, uh, mustard for mustard 40 amp uh, has maybe 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes better timing than the uh, 24 amp. Um, 24 amp split volt and you might ask why that is and we're gonna go back to the screen for that so when it comes to that it's because we are even this is a 40 amp charger it can still adjust to uh, power delivery from the um, uh, this outlet this outlet is only 30 amp outlet so when you plug in a, a 40 um, any amp anything that more than 30 uh, amperage you're not going to get more than 30 and because that's the capacity of that of this uh, you know dryer outlet so that means if you have a dryer outlet that's only capable of delivering 30 amp 
don't go out of your way and buy something 40 amp you can you could be good with as you see 24 amp doesn't make too much difference and you see if you see like right here we have uh, we can see the, how much power is car is receiving and this is how much kilowatt per hour are we receiving right now uh, this is about like the um, general generally that's how much um, you know amp kilowatt you will get per hour if you go to a like charge point uh, st uh, charging station just uh, level 2 charging station and I'm gonna go back to the screen and I'm back at the screen and I want to go to that screen show you something here and this is something that BMW has since I haven't had any other electric vehicle that's the only vehicle that I know so you can go to departure time and once you're on departure time that means uh, you can preset the car and to the departure time I leave home at 6 30 uh, during weekdays and I can mark that up and I can also precondition mark the precondition when you precondition the departure if it is hot in the car it cools the car off if it is cold in the car it car it is the it, it hits the car up uh, uh, for your you know uh, what do you call it uh, departure time and uh, once once we put departure time it doesn't really matter how much power you're getting it's gonna trickle charge until that time and as if you see the t time when it's gonna end up finished charging as you you might notice this time this thing came on like t uh, clock uh, icon and I can once I uh, turn off the departure time it goes away and once I push it it comes on uh, so that means um, you can also you, you also have option to see rate of power supply valid and look so you can go to low cost charging and um, and I'm, let me go change, change the departure time and charging and so when you I, I think that's that's what what's the deal is so if you have to enable to departure time and then you have to go to charging thing so low cost charging come ava comes available and here you can play with these times you can play rate start and rate end and those rate starts and rate end totally up to your area so different um, different power suppliers has different off peak hours so around my area off peak hours are um, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, in some cases it's 2 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. so between those times the you know um, uh, cost of electricity is a little bit higher than the other times during the day so you can um, set those times and then when you plug your car in as you see it is at 6 30 still it's not charging right now vehicle is not charging right now it's not going to start charging until 10 p.m because that's how I set it up but today is Sunday uh, those peak uh, of peak hours is uh, applicable in my area only during weekdays so on the weekends the, there are no off peak hours so uh, right now I don't really need to use it but it, whenever I use it uh, I made that mistake a couple of times I didn't take this off so since I didn't take this off um when i went to like a, a public charging station like a charge point uh public charging station i forgot to take this off and i was expecting the car be, to be full in like about two hours and i was just walking around when i came back and uh, it just it just it was horrible it just uh, had like tiny bit full like maybe two kilowatt instead of it could have been like all battery charged because I forgot to take the you know departure time off so it was kind of trickle charging expecting to fill the car until six o'clock so that's about it 
and if you have a question you can leave it in the comment and I will try to answer the best of, of my ability by best of my experience with this charging tobacco tobacco so you have a good day and have a thank you for watching